Today we're going to go over how to get started with the Cradlepoint E3000 router. When you open the box, inside you're going to be presented with our quick start guide, which goes over the list of materials included, as well as the four steps for getting it plugged, plugged in and set up and ready to go. So first off, we've got the pigtail for our power cord. We're going to have four Wi-Fi antennas, which are going to be uh, straight, smooth post antennas. We've got the, the router here. The front side has the, has the lights along with the SIM card door, which will be securely screwed on already. And on the back here, we've got four cellular posts for antennas and four Wi-Fi posts. The Wi-Fi posts are going to be labeled 2.4 slash 5 gigahertz uh, Wi-Fi 1, 2, 3, 4. And then the cellular posts are going to be labeled main, MIMO 2, MIMO 1, and div. And then underneath the router in the package, we're going to have the power brick on the left, as well as the four cellular antennas, which are gonna be more of a flat paddle and say 5G, 4G on them. Um, so to get started, we're simply going to attach the antennas. So we're gonna put the four Wi-Fi antennas on the right hand side and the four cellular on the left hand side. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. Um, And on the Wi-Fi antennas, we're just gonna bend them up so that they are vertical, 90 degrees. Now on the cellular antennas, we want from the left the first antenna and the third antenna from the left. We're going to, once we have those screwed on, we're going to bend just those two up vertically. And then we want the second and fourth, again from the left, to be left horizontal or pointing straight out. This is going to help improve the cellular reception of the cellular modem. Okay, so now we have our eight antennas fully connected. And I'm just going to move the box out of the way. And, and now we have to assemble our power cord. So our power cord, simply take the pigtail plug it into the brick like so and then the other end is a terminal block that is going to connect right here into this white section right next to the power switch the solid white line is power on so i'm going to go ahead and connect that and then connect the other end of the power cord to the power and flip the switch on. Now the device is gonna start its boot up sequence. So now that the device has fully booted up, we can see that the white light is fully illuminated across the bottom. We have a solid power light. We have a solid blue Wi-Fi light letting us know that the wireless radios are on and transmitting. Then over here we have the 4G and 5G lights. Now depending on your location and if 4G or 5G is enabled or available in that region, um, you may or may not get both lights. You may only get a 4G light instead of a 5G light. And then we have the cellular signal bars. Um, I am in a questionable AT&T area, so I've got roughly two and a half bars. 
as opposed to full bars. If this was in Verizon, if I had configured this with Verizon, I'd have full blue bars uh, for the Verizon signal. Um, and that those are going to be dependent on your location. But uh, as long as you have the solid white light across the bottom, the device is fully functional and ready to go.